This is Afro DJ Mac for Wink Sound. I'm gonna teach you how to make your own Ableton Live Racks. Ableton Live Racks are one of my favorite features of Ableton Live. It allows you to take a whole collection of plugins that you may be using on a track, like all of these guys, filters, ping pongs, and set them up into one nice, convenient rack. I got this Alpha Juno 2 synth. So I'm going to select everything I want to be in the rack. And I'm going to do that by shift clicking that. And notice they're all orange, they're all highlighted. And I'm just going to click Apple G, which is the command for group. You could also go and do this here through the menu by right clicking. And now this whole thing is organized in this nice, neat instrument rack. So the fun of your racks comes in when you start mapping controls to the macro knobs. This gives you great control. You can get really creative mapping the same effects to one knob. So this way when you turn one, different things happen. And the way you do that is to just right click on a control like the attack here. And I'm going to set that to macro one. And now, whenever I turn this knob, I'm controlling the attack. Make it real long, real short. I have a ping pong delay, so I might set the dry and wet to number three. And I'll just go over here, push Apple R to rename that, and I'll put delay. So now, I have control over my attack, my release, and my delay. I could also map the chorus to the same thing as the delay knob. So now this knob, you'll notice, is turning my ping pong and my chorus. And another neat feature of the rack is this map mode here. As I go into here, this window opens and allows me to set the minimum and the maximum. Maybe I don't want my delay to turn up all the way to 100%, so I'll set that to say about 50. And my chorus will allow to continue to go to 100%. So when I come out of here, as I turn this up, my chorus goes all the way up, but my delay only goes up to 49%. Maybe I want my ping pong delay to, to be started up really loud and then go down as the chorus turns on. I'll just right click that and click invert range. So now the knob starts at 49% and will move down to zero. So let's take a listen to that. Let's see, I got a lot of chorus now. A lot of delay now. Week Sound is your source for free music and audio technology videos featuring Ableton Live. By following Wink Sound on Twitter and YouTube to keep up with everything you need to know about music and audio technology. <laughs>